CompTIA ITF plus complete training course. Exam Objective 2.7 Explain Basic Networking Concepts IP Address By the end of this video, you will have a basic understanding of what an IP address is and how it functions in the world of networking. So let's get to it. First up is to define what an IP address is. IP stands for Internet Protocol, and an IP address is a unique numerical identifier assigned to every device connected to a network. Within this definition, the keyword is assigned. An IP address differs from a MAC address in this regard. Where a MAC address is hard-coded into a network interface card, an IP address is logically assigned, can be changed, and even reassigned as needed. Currently, there are two versions of IP addresses in use. IPv4 and IPv6. IPv4, which stands for Internet Protocol version 4, is the older and more widely adopted version. An IPv4 address identifies a device in an Internet Protocol version 4 or IPv4 network. It is worth noting that IPv4 addresses use a specific type of notation called dot .decimal notation. Dot .decimal notation is a way of displaying a big number in manageable chunks. In the case of an IPv4 address, each address is 32 binary digits long. This is a bit difficult to understand, so let's group this 32 binary digit address into different containers that are separated by dots. This will create four sets of eight binary digits, also known as octets. Next we will convert each octet from binary to their decimal value equivalents resulting in a dot decimal notation that is much easier to read. With this dot decimal notation, each octet can range from 0 to 255 providing us with over 4.2 billion numerical combinations. IPv6 addresses are considerably longer than an IPv4 address, at 128 binary digits long. IPv6 addresses also use a different addressing scheme. IPv6 addresses include eight groups of four hexadecimal digits, separated by colons. Each group of four hexadecimal digits can also be called a hextet. Next, let's explore how IP addresses are assigned to devices. There are two main methods, static and dynamic. A static IP address is manually assigned to a device and remains constant over time. This is often used for servers, printers, or other devices that need a persistent, unchanging address in order to be consistently located by other devices. On the other hand, dynamic IP addresses are automatically assigned by a service called DHCP, which stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. With dynamic addressing using DHCP, a device receives an IP address from a DHCP server when it connects to the network. This dynamic addressing using DHCP allows for efficient assignment and use of IP addresses. Additionally, dynamic IP addressing using DHCP simplifies the process of getting connected to a network for non-technical users. Instead of manually configuring IP addresses, DHCP automatically assigns an IP address to a device when it connects to the network. This eliminates the need for users to have prior knowledge of networking or IP addressing, making it more user-friendly and convenient. Non-technical users can simply connect their devices to the network and DHCP takes care of the rest. Now let's talk about private and public IPv4 addresses. Private IPv4 addresses are used within local networks, such as your home or office. They are not routable on the internet and are meant for internal communications such as between a workstation and a printer or for an internal corporate web server, known as an intranet. These addresses fall within specific reserved ranges. These private IP address ranges are displayed just above me. Any IPv4 addresses falling within these ranges will be considered a private IPv4 address and will be restricted to use within a LAN or private network. It will be a good idea to remember these ranges as they will show up again and again throughout your IT journey. Public IPv4 addresses behave a bit differently. They are assigned to devices that connect directly to the internet. These addresses are unique globally and allow devices to communicate with each other across the internet. Internet service providers, ISPs, assign public IP addresses to devices connected to their network. Now this is a video that might be worth watching a couple times. We covered the definition of an IP address, the different IP protocols version 4 and version 6, static and dynamic IP address assignment, and the difference between private and public IP addresses. Great job! Oh, and one last piece of knowledge, don't get an IP address and a MAC address confused. An IP address is a unique identifier for a device's network location, while a MAC address is a unique hardware identifier belonging to a network interface card. 
While an IP address facilitates communication between networks, a MAC address will enable communication within a local area network. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.